Hey Linux lovers, I thought I would switch up the scenery on you and be freezing my buttocks off in downtown San Francisco. That's where I live now and I have no excuse for not coming out with videos for three months. It's a crime-ridden area here, what can I say? So semis, sirens, and the noise of the city aside, I think you guys deserve, after a three-month sabbatical, to have a Linux video in an area that's a little less cold and more comfortable. I'll take you there. There, that's better. So, without further ado, here are some Linux questions from my Facebook page. And don't worry, I'll get to you YouTube and Twitter guys soon. Joe Grasser asks, have you ever done any open source Linux activism stuff, like go to Best Buy and set all the computer wallpapers to the Ubuntu logo? That is a good idea. I just suggest installing Ubuntu on a bunch of computers, then the logo will show anyway, and you'll be spreading the gift of Linux distributions to all. <laughs> Actually, this may surprise you, but even though I've made a bunch of tutorials and reviews on open source programs, I'm not really involved in my local Linux community at all, and it makes me a sad panda. Well, actually, that's not true. I did throw a party with open source trivia galore, and I've been to a few uh, barbecues and other meetups featuring other distributions, so whoever said Geekstone Party? Joshua Monaco writes, and this is a good one, why is Linux represented by a penguin and a penguin? When you think of a penguin, it's often the little wobbly, tuxedo-wearing birds that we know and love. Well, Linus Torvalds also had the, quote, fixation for flightless fat waterfowl. Wow, that's a mouthful. The same way that most of us do. And Torvalds and his programming buddy, Alan Cox, were trolling their mailing list trying to think of a mascot for their new little kernel creation. A penguin photo continued circling in the threads, and it stuck, and now there's many variations of this lovable little guy. The mascot penguin stood for Tux, T being Torvalds, and UX being Unix. And all was well and right with the world until a penguin decided to make lunch out of his fingers. Seriously though, it wasn't just like any old penguin, it was the vicious fairy penguin that chomped on Linus that fateful day in an Australian zoo. Torvalds took the love bite as a sign that Tux was destined to represent his Linux kernel that he discovered only years earlier. I think it was in 1993, but you guys can catch me on that. So thanks for watching. I'm glad I could upgrade to a new studio for you guys. What do you think? I'm going to be Vegas bound in a few days to cover the International Consumer Electronics Show, or you guys know as CES. I've gone every single year, and I'm really excited about it. Until then, Tux and I wish you a happy good new year.